Hi there, welcome to my channel at Back to you Learning Videos. Thank you so much for still being a subscriber. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit on the like button, comment, and share. Share to people. Thank you so much. All right, so today we are going to talk about determinants of a metric. So I'm going to teach you how we solve questions like this. All right, so first of all, I will make sure you understand what's the determinant of a matrix is and how we go by it before we could solve this example. The determinant of um, a matrix, which is A, is always denoted by A in the absolute value sign. It doesn't mean that your answer you're going to get should be in the absolute value sign. Nope. It's just about the, the matrix itself. So A, A, in the absolute value sign so if you don't see find the determinant of a and you see just this in matrices that means you are going to find the determinant okay so assuming assuming a is matrix a b c d and they try to find the determinant so finding the determinant of a is going to be a times d so you cross multiply so a will multiply d minus b will multiply c so this is all about it all right so from from here let me give a little example we we'll solve it and we we'll go back to the main question okay so example a is five one one five and they try to find the determinant of a. So what you're going to do is you first of all multiply five by five, which is the same as the a times d. So five times five minus one times one. So we're going to get twenty-five minus one, which is twenty-four. This is what I'm trying to say. If you get something like this, or when you get it in the negative form, there's no need for you to put it in the absolute value sign. The absolute value sign is just for the representation of determinant, okay? So if you get negative 24, you're still going to get negative 24, but not 24. All right, so with that in mind, let's go to our question. All right, so this is our question. We have been told to find the determinant of A. Okay, so from here we are going to check the way we solve it. So A, the absolute value sign, which is for determinant, is going to be, what you first do is you take the first value. I like taking the first value. Can... So what you do is you can take from the first value or any other, but I like, I prefer the five or the first value to any of the numbers there. All right, so I'll start from the first value, which is five. So when you cancel five out, I'll use a different color. When you cancel five out in the row wise and the column wise. So there's a column wise and the row wise. So if you cancel them that way, you're going to get these numbers. So what you do is the five, Time the determinant of 2, 1, 2, 3. So from the previous slide, we saw that when we told to find the determinant of something like this, you multiply the 2 by 3. So 2 by 3 minus 2 by 1. Then our next value from here, we are going to erase this. We don't need the 5 again, so we are going to the next value. I'm going column wise. So from 5, I'm going to 2, then I'll go to. So from 5, I'm going to 1, then I'll go to 2. And mind you, anytime you are doing the first one that you are taking, that's why I said I like the 5. The 5 will be positive, the next will be negative. It will be positive. So assuming you are taking this way, you are taking it in this form, you are going to get positive, negative, positive. Or when you are taking it in this form, you are going to get negative, 
positive, negative. So it's it moves that way. All right. We don't need those ones. So sorry. We don't need those ones. So sorry, my numbers are missing. Okay, so this was five. That was a, okay, so this is what we're going to do. I use a different color too for the next value. So the next value is I will take one. So I'm taking it this way. I start with five, then I'll move to one. You can move any other way, but in this way it's quite easier and you could understand it better with that. Alright, so um me taking one, that means I'm going to negate one to so minus one. You open a bracket, then what you do is you will delete the one column wise and row wise. Can you see that? So when you delete what you're going to get, you're going to get zero, one, five, three. What do you do from previous slide? I said you multiply the A by D. A will be zero, D will be three. So zero times three. So zero times three minus five times one. So five times one. Then we move on to the next one. The next one, sorry, my value is missing again. Okay, that was one. So we move on to the next one. As I said early on, I took five, five is positive. Then the next one will be one, one will be negative. Then the next will be two, two will be positive. So it alternates, like alternating of generation, sure. So we're going to, yeah. All right, so I'll start with two. Let me use a different color for the cancellation. So I'll start with two. Two will be positive, so plus two. Then you open a bracket. Then you delete two row-wise and column-wise. So you delete them and you're left with zero, two, five, two. What do you do? You multiply A by D. A will be zero, D will be two. So zero times two. Minus 5 by 2. So 5 by 2. So now we are done with the whole thing. Because this first rule I took to use, it's exhausted. So it's finished. So there's no need for us to redo it again because we're done. So if it was supposed to be a 4 by 4 matches, that's a 3 by 3 matches. So if it was a 4 by 4 matches, you're going to get the next one being negative. Then you delete the delete it in the column and the row wise way okay so we are going to do some simplification i'll use a different color all right so when you simplify you're going to get five all into bracket two times three we know is six minus two times one which is which is two minus one multiplying 0 times 3 is 0, 5 times 1 is negative 5 because of the negative, so 0 minus 5 plus 2, 0 times 2 is 0, minus 5 times 2 is 10. So we're going to do some simplification and we're going to get, this is going to be 5 times 4, negative times negative is positive, so plus 5. 2 times negative 10 is what? 20. So minus 20. We are going to get everything to be 5. So this will be our answer. So from this, if we were supposed to get... So from this, if we had gotten something like negative 5, the answer will still be negative 5. We won't put it in the absolute value sign. The absolute value sign is just for the representation for determinants of the, the matrix. Alright, so that means our determinants will be